Hey guys, Chris here and welcome to the Chris Williams Music and Entertainment Channel Incorporated. I don't know, it's a brand new thing I'm doing, so let's just, uh, well, we'll come up with a name later, shall we? If you've got any, actually, you've got any suggestions for a name, put them in the comments because I'd like to know what I should call this thing here. But what I really want to do is talk about uh, new music that's coming out. I want to talk about anything in the news, any sort of clips, any music entertainment stuff. And let's just uh, analyze it. Let's critique it. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at it and break it down. But today I just wanted to uh, look at the new song by Keith Urban. Um, I've been a Keith Urban fan for a long time, actually. Really like a lot of his earlier stuff, and I really liked his sort of change in direction that he he had with the album Fuse and a lot of the new songs. So, this new song is called Straight Line, and what Keith says about the song is he says, Straight Line is a perfect first track off my album, off my new album. He obviously, he's got a new album coming out, um, because it's a song born of wanting to break out of routine and feeling like somewhere along the line, Life lost some colour and excitement. This song is about getting it back again. A message of taking back your life and driving out from under the dark cloud. If you've seen us in concert, I hope this track gives you that same liberated feeling. Um, that's pretty cool. It sounds pretty exciting. So let's, um, let's have a listen to the song. Right, so straight away, you know it's a Keith song because it's got that driving driving beat, the banjo underneath it. Um, that's what Keith does best. You also know it's a Keith song when you hear that. Because that's a, that's a Keith thing he does in a lot of his songs. Go back and have a listen, you'll hear it. I've been living every day in circles, just burning out, burning out. That sounds very, very relatable. So it sounds like the chords he's using in there are pretty simple. I think it's a C. Yeah, it just seems like a C and a and an F throughout the whole... Uh, Throughout the whole song. I like the melody there. I like what he's done with the melody there. So it's uh, you know, it's quite a simple driving beat. So you got to be you got to make it a bit interesting with the melody. And I like what he he's done there. Key the songs have just got this sort of uplifting beat to them uh and uh just real kind of you know happy go lucky kind of thing you turn it up in the car you know you turn the windows down it's like you're going to the beach on a sunny day and you're turning the music up it's got it's got that vibe about it and this song's definitely uh definitely got that vibe Just those same two chords the whole way. It's definitely got the right tempo. It's got the right tempo to uh, to nod your head along to, and it's uh, it's just catchy. It's catchy. I like that lyric there. Finally leaving Hotel California. Couple runaways. It's cool. I like it. I wanna feel that way. I wanna feel that way now. Let's trade the past and the fate and real be Love that banjo underneath everything, you know, it's just kind of uh driving the uh driving the rhythm. It's really cool. This sound is is kind of what he's been recently doing, or is it sort of a bit of a throwback to? Around, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure. It's um, it's very simple. Just two chords, driving driving rhythm. Um, just 
yeah, he's really good at that. <laughs> Keith solos are they they're just they're simple but they're effective and there's a lot of feel in them, a lot of bending and a lot of uh a bit of grit in the in the tone that he's got going on the guitar, um, but he never overplays. He doesn't overplay. He just treats the song for what it is. It's nice and simple. The guy can play guitar. He's very accomplished. He can do a lot of crazy stuff, but he'll hold back on a song just to, rather than overcomplicating it. He'll just try and make it nice and simple, and um, sounds great. There's not many artists that I I notice that can really drive a rhythm like Keith can. It's like I, I've seen his creative process when he's writing a song. He's he's typically he's really he's really about the rhythm and the beat and whether it's catchy. And then he sort of writes on top of that, um, which is kind of cool and inspiring. I really uh, I really like that. Oh, and the fade out, he's got a fade out on that one. So uh, you don't really hear fade outs much in um, music anymore. Uh, you know, it's uh, pretty uncommon, but uh, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Oh, look, it was, it was, I think it's a typical Keith song. I think he's sort of back to his uh, uh, original catchy type uh, music, although it's, he's always written catchy songs. So it's too, pretty much two chords the whole way through. So it's very simple. Um, but Keith's got a great way of just, writing something so simple um, but putting some real catchy hooks and melodies in there where it sounds like there's a lot going on in the song but it's actually really a very simply written song um, but yeah no, good on you Keith love the song let me know in the comments what you think whether you think it was a good song or whether you think uh, there's something better let me, let me know other other Keith songs that you think uh, might be uh, might be your favourite let me know um, anyway catch you on the next video see you guys <laughs>